And welcome to the Swamp and Road TV show here live, taping live at Casa Leganopolis on Cresswell Lane. I'm Brian Lil Buck Burge, and this is... Todd Artigo, standing next to Brian Lil Buck Burge. That's right. We're standing in different places tonight. Yeah. What, as ha- it turns what happened out, with that? I uh, uh, have the wrong shoes on. You uh, put them on the wrong feet, huh? I did, yeah. Uh-huh. And you ought to see me walk. Uh, I seen that earlier. I was wondering. I, I thought maybe there was something else going uh, no, on. No, no, it's just all about the shoes. Lil what? Buck, what are we right now? I usually ask you what's the date so people can check their calendars and see where we at. July t- 6th. July 6th, what year again? 12? Two, 2011. 2011, July 6th. How was your 4th of July? I worked. You worked? I worked. I was gainfully employed. I did the exact opposite. Had a big time over there at uh, Lakeview Park in Eunice. Yeah, yeah. Pulled the camp out there, D. Darby. My, some of my kids was there. We had a good time with all that stuff. Uh, Life I, has been good on that end. Maybe next year I'll catch y'all. How about there that? There you go. I like that a whole lot. Uh, you was in Texas, man. How did that go? Oh, tell me about this Texas. You went to Temple, Texas. <laughs> I went to Temple, Texas for seven days. That's I heard that's a wild, crazy, cut-up place in Temple, Texas, huh? <laughs> well, uh, first I went to Temple, Texas for seven days for work. For work, okay. For work. All right. So then, so while I you was working? allegedly working twelve hours out the day I was there, and uh, I stayed at this real nice uh, resort. We'll call it a resort. Resort. And uh, they had a bar. A bar, big fancy bar. I bet. Uh, about three bar stools, you know. Oh, and so okay. I'm there yeah. the first night, and I'm asking the uh, the bartender, "What do you do here in Temple?" And she said, "Well, you're looking at it." I said, "That's it." I said, "No." I said, "There has to be something to do." And she said, "No, this is it." It says Temple, Texas, is a three bar stool town. Three bar stool town. I said, "No." I said, "Where where do you go for entertainment?" She said, "There's no such thing." And I'm not dogging Temple, Texas, but there's nothing to do over there. But you also told me they just became a, um, they were, they were a, what you call that, a dry they county. It was dry. She said up, up until, until about uh, six, eight months ago, she said, if I would went there a year ago, it would have been even longer seven days. Well, if this band, if the people in Temple, Texas can see this band, they'd be hiring them over there. And all of a sudden, they'd be breaking records of, uh, a le- of legal alcohol cons- consumption. They'd have to get a few more bar stools, A few I'm more afraid. bar stools, yeah. Three ain't going to cut it. This guy's been knocking around the scene for a long time. In fact, everybody in this band, you'll look at them, and you can tell they have credentials. And when you hear them play, then those, uh, that assumption will be verified. Terrific band. And the name of the band, Lil Buck? Greg Martinez. And the and Delta, Delta Kings. Kings. Right here, KDCG TV, Swamp Road TV show, Castle Lake, Crestwell Lane, Opelousas. Take it away, fellas. This song was written by Todd Artigo.
feel all right 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 I feel all right, y'all. He says, he says he feels Fit. all right. All right. All right, y'all. I'm Man. feeling pretty good, too. The, hey, Lil Buck, that's a song that we can relate to many times over and over again. I Last don't know what night. you're talking about. Oh, okay. I'll fill you in later on that right here. <laughs> How about a hand for this band? Everybody in the place at Castle Lane, everybody at their house. That's a good little warm-up. Greg, come up close right here, man. Talk in your microphone right now. we got to find out more about you. He's, he's getting loaded right now on a bottle of water. A bottle of water. That's right. He's a vocal guy. He's blowing trumpet. He's singing. How you been, my man? Good, good. Good. Very good. Now, tell me some background. Hold uh, up. Let me get like y'all. It's like you started playing music and you started your own band, or did you perform with other bands prior to the Greg Martinez and the Delta King band? When I first started out at like 18, I just played acoustic guitar and sang. That was the thing to do in the 70s. And you from where? Karen grew Crow. Up, grew up in Karen Crow. What's the name of that band? You remember? It was just a... Uh, uh, well, and then I did a trio thing, so it was like the Greg Martinez trio for a while. Okay, all right. And then the first band, I think, was, uh, was called Kingfish. You was in that band Kingfish? Yeah. I remember the name. Yep. I, I didn't make it in the had, gigs, We though. had uh, satin jackets and everything. Oh, boy. That was uh, uh, early 70s, or what was that? Mid that was, uh, by then, that was late 70s and okay. into the 80s. Okay, all right, so. all right, all right. And then you uh, were always in South Louisiana, or did you at some point venture out and see what then, the rest uh, of the world had to offer? Left in 1985 and began to tour the country. Uh. And uh, your own band? or uh, Yeah, that yeah. one was called Greg Martinez and the Heat. And the Heat, what kind of music were y'all doing? Back then it was like top 40 dance music. Yeah, did y'all heat it up pretty good? Or what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, like we were young. Yo, were young. Yo, where did you go? Like uh, East Coast, West Coast, Vegas? Uh, a lot of East up Coast. The middle, uh, uh, Midwest East Coast. And, a, and a lot of East Coast and Gulf Coast, too. But, uh, yeah. Then we so, wound up in Atlantic City, New Jersey. All right. Yeah. And, uh, and the casinos. Uh, and once y'all saw enough of that, you said, okay, I'm going back home? Stayed four years. I lived four years in Atlantic City. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Playing the casinos up there? Yeah, or? I had a deal with, uh, what's his name, with the hair? Uh, Trump. Oh, really? Y'all, Donald, you were yeah. working for Trump? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he hired you a long time ago, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Did he, he fire you or you, or you just quit after a while? Oh, there you go. Uh, many people do get he fired fire from me. that. No. Little Buck, you got something for Greg? Man, I'm digging the, uh, the clothes, man. Yeah. Y'all need to get a, a shot of the boots on up. I, I, I mean, I'm a cigar smoker, you know? Y'all making me haunt. And, uh, I like it. And, man, I, I got to give me some clothes like this just to stand on my front porch and smoke a cigar because I'm digging the shirt and the boots and the jeans and, man, the rings. You sure you're not in the mafia? <laughs> well, let's not go there. Okay. This is a, this is a family show. Okay. Thank you for coming out to the Swamp Road TV show. Sounding Thank great. You, and uh, I'm a little, I'm the younger generation of the show, and uh, I hadn't heard a lot about you and uh, never seen you. And uh, I, I've been gone for about a week, and my mailman today, I always talk to my mailman. He's like, oh, y'all got on your show tonight. I said, Greg Martinez, oh, you better bring your money. You're going to drink a lot because he's great. So the people know you in Karen Crow. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I know the mailman you're talking about. You know the mailman? <laughs> Well, I think he's over here in his uniform. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. That's it. There he is. All right. Oh, yeah. But sounded great, man. Thank you for coming out. My pleasure. Thank you all for having me. In regards us. to that shirt, what size you wear anyway? Because, uh, you know, I could use a snazzy shirt like that now and then. With the oh, right I have place. everything tailor made. So. Oh, well, then forget it. Who's your tailor? Because I got to no, give I'm me not. a shirt like that. That's nice, man. Now, how old are you? I'm uh, allegedly I'm 31, you know. Well, I'm going to quote from my friend Tony Gula. All right. Never ask an old man where he gets his clothes. Okay. okay. There you go. Uh, Tony Gula is credited for those lines? Tony Gula. All right, all right. I figured you was only about 35, you know, so. You're, you're all right, man. I brand take, never mind. I'll tell you where I got my clothes after the show. All right. This is a brand new CD. Of course, the song you just heard originated right here in Opelousas. Camille Bob, your nomin is Lil Bob, and he's still living and still in Opelousas. And I hope he gets to watch this show because if he does, he's heard many bands perform that song on this show. And I don't think there's a bigger compliment for a song that you write than have other bands play it for the last uh, almost 50 years now. You got any other songs yet? Oh, yeah. 
Bob lives by my house now. Oh, he does? Well, there you go. There you go. All right. What we're going to do primarily is feature this brand new CD. It's just out. We'll tell you where you can get it in just a few. But right now, we're going to go with a double shot from the brand new CD, Greg Martinez, South of the Parish Line. Sometimes he calls the band the Delta King. Sometimes he calls them home and he tells them, hey, y'all need to come play at the Swamp Road TV show. We don't pay nothing. He calls them all the time at Castle Ole, Crestwell Lane, and Opelousas. Double shot. All right. Thank you, Todd. A little buck. Here we go. When least expected, faced on both ends, brings light to the dark. And oh, what a friend I needed someone To call my own Suddenly out there She made me a man 